What's up everybody and welcome back to A Beer A Day With TK. I'm doing two videos today um, because I got caught up yesterday. I got done work a bit late and I came home and I fell asleep so I didn't get to do a video. Um, so I'm going to do two today. And the first one that I'm going to showcase is the Strawberry Lambic. Um, you may remember these a while back. I picked up a gift set at Christmas that came with four Lambics and this cool glass. Um, I think I had a peach, two apple and the strawberry. Now, I've been putting the strawberry off for a while. If you watch my videos, you know I'm not a huge fan of strawberries. So this one has kind of been creeping in the back of the fridge. Um, but I figured it was time to do it today. I'm going to do this. The next video, I'm going to do Jackie O's Goes. So I thought it would be a, a sweet and a sour kind of combination. hoping it would work out. Um, so this is Strawberry Lambic. I went to the website for uh, Browery Lindemans, and it looks like this is their newest offering in the Lambic family. It said it was, uh, I guess, the first one, the first new flavor they'd introduced in over 10 years or so. So um, Brewery Lindemans is in Vlesenbeek, Belgium, and this is a Lambic beer, like I said before. And Lambics are kind of unique. Um, like Champagne, they all come from the same region of Belgium, and they use wild yeast during the fermentation process, which is kind of neat. Um, so on the back here, there's a little bit of information. It says, crafted by wind, brewed through generations. So again, obviously the open air kind of fermentation process. Lindemann strawberry lambic made from local barley, unmalted wheat, strawberry juice, aged hops, and wild airborne yeast, spontaneous fermentation. True lambics are rare, all come from uh, one of a Few, of fewer than a dozen breweries in Belgium's Seine River Valley, a region about 15 by 75 miles in size. And it has Lindemans as family-owned since 1822. So a relatively small region of Belgium is where all of these come from. Um, I went to the website to look into this one a little bit, and it said it's made with fresh, unsweetened strawberry juice. Um, I'm really not sure how I'm going to feel about that. I'm not a big fan of strawberries. I'm hoping for the best. I, I got a little... Uh, gutsy here. I had a strawberry beer last week and it was actually pretty solid. So I'm hoping I continue the trend of okay strawberry beers. Um, this one has is 4.1% ABV. Um, as far as ratings, it gets a 382 on Untapped, a 407 on Beer Advocate, and the aggregate score is a 91 outstanding. So it seems to be a very good beer. Now, to me, all the other ones I've had from Lindemans are, are phenomenal. I love the, the Cherry Creek, uh, the Cassis, the, the Apple, the Palm, the, the Peach. I think they're all really good. So, you know, this should be good. If there's going to be a good strawberry beer, it's going to be from these guys. So, let's check it out. I'm going with the Lindemann's glass as well. The other one I had is like fluted, like a long one, where this is, you know, a little bit different here. It's kind of neat looking, though. Okay. I don't know why. I, for some reason, I thought it was going to be more like a, a, you know, pink strawberry color. But I guess it's not artificial strawberry, right? Now, it's kind of a, you do see a, a pinkish hue to it. It's kind of like gold and, and, and reddish kind of mixed together there. Um, fair amount of carbonation. Head, eh, a little bit. It's kind of kind of thin. I mean, you got maybe three quarters of a thumb's worth. Uh, but again, I didn't expect this to have a big frothy head or anything like that. But it looks, looks pretty nice. Let's check out the smell. Well, at least I won't breathe in the head on it accidentally, right? The smell, you pick up some like sweet strawberry and then a nice funkiness to it. So, I mean, nice funky smell. Not super sour, though. I think the, the sweetness of strawberry kind of dominates and you pick up the funkiness a little. All right, let's check it out. Cheers. It's actually really nice. <laughs> I'm a fool. I've let this sit in the fridge since like December. It's actually quite nice. The first thing that hits me is the body is a lot thicker than I had expected. Now, I mean, I've had the other, so I should know what the body is like. Um, but it's probably medium virgin on a little bit thicker. Um, has a nice smooth texture to it, too, like the nice viscosity to it. Um, taste. You pick up, I think the first thing you pick up is a little bit of strawberry. Not super sweet, though. Um, then you get a little bit, it almost tastes like a mix of kind of like apple and strawberry together. And then at the end, you pick up like the nice tartness. Or, you know, the tartness, it's, it's really a decent combination. Really good. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, honestly. I mean, um, you know, it's got a nice body to it. Really nice taste. 
um, kind of subtle, natural strawberry as opposed to that kind of fake, candy, cloyingly sweet strawberry that I despise. Um, this is really good. It almost tastes a little bit like it's got some other fruits mixed in. I don't know if there's like apple or raspberry. Um, it almost has more like a, we'll say like a punch kind of taste to it. Like mm -hmm. you can pick up the other, other flavors as well. Man, that's tasty. Um, 4.1%, so nothing too crazy there. Um, again, shocked I put this one off as long as I did. It's foolish from Lindemann's. I should have known it would have been on point. Um, Browery Lindemann's, strawberry, lambic, big thumbs up. Should have drank this months ago. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Give me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. Hey, until next time, cheers.